हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द कंपेयर इंस्ट्रक्शन प्रेजेंट इन द इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट ऑफ एट जीरो एट सेवन मैथ को प्रोसेसर द मैथ को प्रोसेसर इट हैज इन इट्स इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन लाइक अरिथमेटिक डेटा ट्रांसफर कंपेयर ट्रांसेंटेंटल एंड load constant and processor control instructions so out of these instructions here we will study the compare instructions which compare the value of two numbers and give us the result that which of the number is greater than or less than each other okay so let's start with our topic <music> the 8087 is the first coprocessor which was developed by intel to pair with the 8086 and 8088 microprocessor family okay so all the microprocessors in the family of 8086 and 8088 they will have their each uh, each microprocessor will have its own coprocessor so coprocessor for 8086 and 88 is the 8087 Now this coprocessor it has its own architecture and its own instruction set. Okay, so the instructions present in the instruction set of eight zero eight seven they are classified into different categories based on the operation or function performed by them. So let's see that how the instructions of the eight zero eight seven they are classified. there are six categories first is the data transfer instructions arithmetic instructions compare instructions load constant instructions processor control and transcendental transcendental instruction so all the instructions present in the instruction set they are classified into this six categories depending upon the operation they perform like data transfer instruction they transfer the data from one location to another location arithmetic instructions they perform the arithmetic operations compare instructions they compare the data okay so just like this the instructions are classified now in this video we will uh, study the compare instructions present in the 8087 coprocessor instruction set so let's start Start with this. Now, what does this these compare instructions do? These compare instructions they compare the contents of the stack uh, element that is the top of the stack st and the contents of the specified location like either from the memory or from a specified source that will be compared with the contents of st in 8087 we are having a stack stack is a group of memory locations okay Now in eight zero eight seven, this stack is divided into eight registers, starting from zero to seven. Now the register from where the stack is beginning, that is called the top of stack or ST. ST is the bit which is specified in the
in the status register of 8087. In status register, there is a ST bit and this ST bit is specified, uh, is going to specify that from where the stack is beginning. Any of the register will be given here. Like suppose ST bit is 0, then the 0 register is taken as ST from here the stack is going to begin okay now in these compare instructions they compare the contents of st with contents of the specified source Okay, so contents of ST, whatever will be there, that will be compared with the contents of the specified or the default source. Comparison means it will find out that uh, which of the number is greater than or less than or they are equal to each other. Okay, now how this comparison result will be displayed? Here we are, I have said that the ST contents they are uh, uh, compared with the contents of the specified or the default source. So specified or the default source it can be any other uh, stack element or it can be a memory location. Anything can be there. Now how the result will be shown? The compare instructions they are going to set the condition code bits C3, C2, C0 of the status word. The status word of 8087, it, it is a 16-bit register. Status register is of 16-bit. And the contents of this status register is called the status word. Okay. Now, this status word, it is also of 16-bit. Now, out of these 16 bits, there are three bits which are called the condition code bits. That is C3, C2 and C0. Now the condition of these three bits is going to specify that what is the result of the comparison, which number is greater, which is less, whether they are equal to each other or whether the numbers cannot be compared with each other. Let's see how it is going to specify C3, C2, C0. Their value can be 000, 001, 100 and 111. So when these three bits, all the three bits are zero, it means ST content is greater than the other operand. Whatever will be the, because there are two operands which are to be compared, one operand is present in the ST and another operand is present in either any of the other stack element or at any other memory location. So ST content is greater, okay. Now when 001 is there, then ST content is smaller. When 100 zero zero is there, then both are equal. Means ST content and the other operand, they are equal to each other. When the result is 111, it means that the operands, they are not comparable. So this is how the result of the compare instructions that is specified. Okay, after the comparison, we will see the condition code bits in the status word and by seeing these conditions, we will get to know that which of the content is greater or which is less, whether they are equal to each other or whether the comparison is being done or not. Okay. 
so this was an idea that how the compare instructions they are executed by the 8087 now let's study these different compare instructions present in 8087 first is f c o m source in 8087 all the instructions they are starting with the alphabet f f stands for the floating point numbers so all the instructions in 8087 will start from the alphabet f okay now the com it is for the comparison compare so what this instruction does it compares the contents of st with the contents of the source okay Now this source it can be uh, any other stack element or it can be memory okay the another operand it can be stored at any memory location or it can be at any of the other stack register now after the comparison the result will be indicated by the condition uh, bits okay condition code bits let's take an example of this f c o m or f c o m s t 4 f c o m value now in the first instruction you can see that the source is not specified okay so s t 1 is taken as the source this is the default source okay i have told that whether the contents are compared either with the specified source or with the default source so when source is not specified in the instruction then st1 is taken as the default source st1 and st they are compared in the next instruction fcom st4 so now sources are specified so st4 and st they are compared with each other in the third instruction value is any memory location okay label given to a memory location so the memory location which is indicated by this value that real number from memory and the st both are compared with each other okay so this is how the fcom compare instruction is executed by 8087 next compare instruction is fcom p source f is again for the floating point numbers com is for compare p is for pop means after comparison pop the stack that means increment the stack pointer by one okay so here it is again going to compare st with source okay and after this comparison increment stack pointer by one okay so that is the difference between fcom and fcom p p is for pop to increment the stack pointer by one okay next instruction is f c o m p p okay means you have to pop the stack by two times okay means increment the stack pointer two times that is by two you have to increment the stack pointer again this is going to compare 
ST with source. Now here you can see that in this instruction source is not specified. So here the default source will be used that is ST1. So ST is compared with the default source ST1 and stack pointer is incremented by 2. So this is the FCOMPP instructions. So all these instructions, they are similar to each other. They are comparing the contents with the source. Just the uh, one little difference is there between every instruction. Next compare instruction is FICOM and then source. Now here I is standing for the integer. So this instruction is going to compare ST to a short or long integer from memory. Here the source is the memory. At that memory location, some integer number is stored, either a short or long integer is there and that integer is compared with the ST, okay? Next is FICOMP source. Again, I is for integer, COM is for compare, and P is for pop. So again, integer is compared with ST, and after the comparison, the stack pointer is incremented by 1. Okay, that is FICOMP source. Next instruction is F I sorry F T S T. Okay, so this instruction is compare. ST with 0. We want to find out that whether the content of the stack element is 0 or not. Because after any arithmetic or logical or any calculation, if the result is coming out to be 0, then how we can check that result is 0? Okay, that can be done by storing that result in ST and then checking that if ST is 0 or not. If it is equal, then the condition code bits, they are uh, changed accordingly. Okay, so compare ST with 0, that is FT, ST. Next instruction is FXAM. So this instruction, it compares ST. to see, sorry, it, it tests the ST to see if it is 0, infinity, unnormalized or it is empty. Okay. So, FXAM means examine that whether the ST contents they are 0, infinity, unnormalized or 
empty and if it is found to be any of these then the condition code builds c3 c2 c1 and c0 they are set to indicate the result this uh, if the st builds they are found to be either zero infinity or normalized or empty then the three, uh, four bits the c3 c2 c1 and c0 these bits are set okay so this these are the compare instructions present in the 8087 let's summarize these instructions we studied fcom fcompp fcom p p okay then for integer we studied ficom ficom p okay then we studied two instruction ft st to check whether the st contents are zero and then to examine that whether it is zero infinity or unnormalized or empty so these three are for the simple comparison these two are for the integer comparison and these two are the special compare instruction to examine whether it is zero or not so these are the different compare instructions present in the instruction set of 8087 math coprocessor i hope that this topic is now clear to you thank you